During 36 years as a politician, as he rose from Newark City Councilman to Newark Mayor to State Senator, Sharp James won every race he entered. Today in federal court, facing the biggest election of his life, James finally lost. A federal jury found the 72-year-old ex-mayor guilty on charges he helped his mistress, Tamika Riley, enrich herself on city land sales. For James, the loss not only ends a remarkable unbeaten streak, it also tarnishes a remarkable legacy. James was elected mayor of New Jersey's largest city in 1986, beating out four-term incumbent Ken Gibson. But while Gibson was a pragmatist, always reminding people of a mayor's limitations, James was a dreamer, promising the city a renaissance. For 20 years, he ruled Newark with style. He danced the electric slide, drove street cleaners, and donned everything from ice skates to roller skates to running shoes in his many photo opportunities. Few politicians looked better with a shovel at a groundbreaking, and none looked as good in a muscle t-shirt. More than anything, James endured. In the 90s, corruption cases snared other Newark officials, but never James, who kept driving his Rolls Royce and piloting his private yacht. In 2002, James took on charismatic young challenger Cory Booker and won again. It was only after James left office in 2006 that federal agents finally caught up to him. U.S. Attorney Chris Christie, who was himself undefeated in public corruption cases, came armed with piles of documents and loads of innuendo to support charges James used his influence to help his girlfriend make nearly $700,000 reselling city land. Federal prosecutors admitted they could not tie James directly to the land deals in question, but presented jurors a strong circumstantial case and asked them to use their common sense. Apparently, common sense told jurors James' unbeaten streak finally needed to end. James now faces up to seven years in federal prison. This is Brad Parks reporting for the Star-Ledger.